you more numbers that don't make for good reading. No, they don't, John. The numbers growing more devastating all across the country. Several U.S. states posting record infections and hospitalizations rising by more than 2,000 a day. The big news, of course, coming from California yesterday, reporting more than 30,000 new coronavirus cases. That was a record, and as a result, the large portion of the state is back under stay-at-home order. About 70% of the population affected by that. Bars, hair salons, other businesses will have to close, and that will be in effect for at least three weeks. When you look at the U.S. as a whole, we are near our peak in terms of the infection rate. When you look at the 14-day rolling average of cases per 1,000 people, the U.K. is near its peak as well, while other countries in continental Europe are starting to see improvements due to more restrictive measures. The light at the end of the tunnel, of course, for all countries, John, is coming potentially in the form of a vaccine. The U.S. could approve Pfizer's shot as early as this Thursday. That, of course, has already gotten approval in the U.K., where it should be rolled out starting tomorrow. And, of course, Moderna's similar vaccine is seeking FDA approval as well. The question, John, is are enough people actually going to take it? You need about 80 percent of the population covered to achieve herd immunity. And right now, according to an Ipsos survey, only four countries are showing enough support to meet that threshold. India, China, South Korea, and Brazil. At the tail end of that chart on the right side is the U.S. and France, which have the least support for getting a shot. Only 50 4% of French adults say they'd be willing to take it. There's concerns about efficacy, about potential side effects, as we do have to keep in mind, John, that these vaccines were rushed through at a record pace. John.